Hello, my name is Ryan Womack. I am Data Librarian at Rutgers University and this video series will focus on data visualization. We will be working through a number of segments and I'll actually be doing a little bit more detail in the video version than I typically do in person. Um, so I just want to start with a short introduction to what to expect from the series and then we'll actually get into content in future segments. So this workshop is an attempt to cover in a relatively brief period of time the standard techniques of data visualization, things that you would use every day to understand your research data and, and present it. We're going to cover a lot of different techniques and we're going to talk about the history of the development of data visualization and principles of good data visualization. Um, we are not going to get into heavy detail about how to make the most beautiful, most customized graphics, uh, infographics that are the product of expert designers. We are not going to get into the cognitive science aspects of data. Uh, and how people perceive that. There's, that's a wonderful research area, a lot of people doing good work, but it's not something that I think that I can, can give you much information about. Uh, we are going to assume that you know some basics of R, that you've worked with it a little bit and have a working setup. If you need an introduction to R, go back and look at some of the other videos uh, in this series or uh, pick it up from some other tutorials. Um, but we're, we're kind of going to kind of run a lot of things in R without explaining them too much. Um, and I'm also not going to cover other programming languages other than R. We, there are a lot of different ways to make great data visualizations, uh, but R is the thing I work with the most, so I feel like I should just show you that. Um, and I don't claim that this is a balanced survey of every type of data visualization. I'm going to be brief when I talk about um, things that are associated with machine learning and data mining like uh, networks clustering in trees. We're going to see a little bit of that. And I'm also going to do just a little bit of mapping applications, but there's a lot of that out there. So I think you have some resources that you could find that as well. Um, but having given you those warnings, I would hope that you're going to gain uh, f from this series uh, familiarity with the basic principles and history of data visualization, some exposure to a wide range of techniques, and some ideas about how you can implement those. Uh, we're also going to talk about interactive uh, exploration of data and some big data appropriate methods. and all that hopefully will give you some understanding of the power and potential of using appropriate graphical analysis with your data. Um, so the links to these materials are in the YouTube description box. Uh, the materials are at github.com slash ryandata slash dataviz. If you go there you will see it's primarily the R script if you want to run the R examples and the PDF of these slides. Uh, if any additional material comes available later that will be added to the, the GitHub site. Um, and as you're going to see if you're working with the R there are a lot of packages involved to accomplish these things and you'll have to install those on your system uh, to, to run everything. Okay, so I'm going to stop there with my description. We'll come back in the next segment with the true introduction.